I've been uh, a, a photographer, a working photographer for over 20 years. Um, but um, I'm going to start this with a bombshell um, by saying that um, I'm not that interested in photography that much anymore. Um, the sort of technology side of it, the camera side of it. Um, I used to be, um, uh, when I started out, the, um, the whole sort of feeling of cameras and, and um, that sort of playing, adding lenses on and everything like that. I guess it's sort of that, it's, it's, it goes back to childhood of Lego, you know, building blocks and putting this on and trying all of that. But um, today, um, my eyes glaze over when I hear about the latest development that Canon and Nikon have come out with, the new greater megapixel um, uh, beast that, that I should have or whatever. It just doesn't interest me. Um, what interests me um, is the subject matter that I photograph. Um, that's what it, it's all about for me. Um, and um, the type of work that I do is um, sometimes labelled photojournalism. Um, it's, not a, it's not a term that I'm that comfortable with because I didn't study to be a journalist. I actually um, trained um, uh, in 1989 in photography. Um, so um, I don't think of myself as a journalist. Um, and so I'm more comfortable with the term documentary photographer my reason for getting involved in this was that I really wanted to sort of get past what was happening at the time, which was um, the media, particularly the, the, the um, press, um, were always showing gangs, um, and it was always to do with gang violence. Um, it was always that sort of the, the very aggressive side of what um, people saw as gangs. And I wanted to sort of try and understand and show through my photographs um, more why um, people join gangs. Um, but unfortunately, um, we have a problem in New Zealand in that when you tackle these kind of projects, they're always, we're always cash strapped. So um, to um, invest the time that was really needed just wasn't available. The publishers supplied us with a car, but no money. Um, and I went scrounging for some film from Kodak and they gave me um, some paper instead, um, a box of paper and said, here, go for it. So no one really sort of um, believed in it. And at the end of it, um, I, I felt those were the areas that were lacking, was that we never quite spent enough time on it. And I vowed after that that I never wanted to work on other projects where I couldn't put in the time to learn this, about the subject. Um, but I think this particular image really sort of, to me, captures... Um, so much about what um, is behind why people join gangs. Um, and I would have liked to have probably produced a few more. Um, having said that, these are now part of our, um, our social history and um, uh, Te Papa, the Museum of New, Z New Zealand, um, acquired a set, a set of the images around about a decade ago from me um, that are now part of their permanent collection. So. Um, I think they have added something in the contribution towards um, uh, what it is um, that is part of New Zealand's um, social history. But as I say, I would have preferred to have um, uh, spent more time and more depth on this particular project. We were having a discussion about the treaty at the time. This is the last sort of, um, of, of the drovers, I guess, really now. Um, the highway's too busy, the, the, the um, economy's changed and there's a lot more logging um, and so there's m many, many more trucks on the road. So I think this was sort of the end of an era that I caught. Um, and again, um, this is uh, the meeting house at um, Te Aroa, um, Hane Rupe, and it burnt down several years later. So um, often when you're taking these photographs, you're not really aware that you are recording something that does become a part of our history and also can be gone. Um, I, I like to sort of look for metaphors in some of my photographs, I guess. Um, I kind of see one here. 
um, the, the sh sort of the flock, the Sean flock. I just happened to be sort of parked opposite it as this sort of um, head of sheep came um, wandering past and had a moment to turn around and grab that shot and then it was all over. I'm just wondering about um, how you become a better photographer for someone at your stage in your career, you're very experienced and distinguished, you know, I'm three decades at least now to shooting. How do you improve at this stage? How do you become a better photographer? What, what, how do you set the mark even higher? How do I become a better photographer, or how does anybody become a better? Me. Mm. Uh, um, I, I actually think the more pressing question that I've got right at this particular point in time is how do I keep being a photographer? Um, the better part is um, it's the least of my worries. Um, it really is tough times out there, so um, uh, you know, trying to. Uh, to do these long-term projects, um, particularly in a country like New Zealand, because we run into the sort of problem that we're a population of four million, um, and so any kind of market, whether it be a book or a magazine, is um, infinitely smaller than, say, Europe or the United States, and yet our culture is just as important to be um, uh, represented and documented. Um, but but we do struggle against that sort of overwhelming sort of tsunami of what's coming in through, um, you know, the globalised nature of the World Wide Web. Um, and it does um, impact on small regional locations and small countries like New Zealand um, as to how that can continue to be produced and, and underwritten. I mean, I need somebody to pay um, at the end of the day. Otherwise, just doing these projects, just they, they aren't viable. Um, so I'm, 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 and I haven't come up with that solution at the moment. I mean, the, the old days, where the magazine was the patron, and you went to it and said, "I've got an idea," and they said, "Okay, we'll finance that," and they would advance money towards it. Um, they're long gone. You know that it just doesn't happen like that anymore. Um, so I don't worry so much about how I get better. I just worry about how I'll get on to complete the thing that I'm working on and maybe do the next thing.